Welcome back to Sonic Heroes Action Replay. Oh, dude, what's that move on a skateboard? That is the triple ollie. Oh, wait, no, I'm, I'm thinking of surfing. Hang Castle, bro! We are now in the, uh, I guess, Pumpkin Hill leftover asset world. The spooky one? Y y yeah, you know. The spooky level? So, uh, let's take some time to talk about, uh, Sonic Heroes and how it works. Okay. Uh, this is a pretty complicated level. Okay. It's, a. Uh, is it fun? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I suppose. You it's know. spooky. It's, it's alright, you know. In terms of levels, it's pretty good. The gimmick here is that there's, you know, it's, it's spooky. But the other gimmick is that we have these switches here. A little thing happens. And then we... the level goes upside down. Ooh, interesting. Mm-hmm, and you're already thinking about ways we're gonna fly around here, aren't you? Oh, a, a little bit. Y you got me. <laughs> you caught me in the stink thinking stages. I know that we have these invincible flying enemies that uh, only Knuckles can take up because they have this super strong armor. Well, yeah. Varying up the gameplay, I'm, I'm looking for positives here, okay? <laughs> You know, we're, we're not the negatives yet. D you know, again, I am a Sonic apologist, and I am trying to meet this game halfway. It just has to meet you halfway. Please. This is this is my uh, time studying the level before I'm going to use codes to utterly break it. <laughs> so, you just go upside down. I assume that's going to be certain choke points throughout the level. But, you know, it's it, it, it works okay. So far, so good. I haven't seen any, like, BS happening. Like, the upside-down thing, that's actually not a bad gimmick for a level. Alright, so here's a, a locked door. There's gotta be a switch somewhere. Yeah, I wonder where it could be. Upside-down? Oh. Oh, uh, there it is. Right here, alright. Oh, that was easy. Oh, never mind. Uh, okay, maybe under the box? That's, uh... uh maybe Mr. Pumpkin Man? Oh. We have to go out of our way to find switches, don't we? We grind on this rail, and we were already on this, actually. Yeah, it's just upside down. Yeah. But... Oh, this Let's Play is getting into, into, some, into some stranger things, it, 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 <laughs> it, it, isn't it? We're gonna, we're gonna take this up to an 11, you know? Hey, hey. Way to keep it relevant ten years down the line. <laughs> When Netflix is nothing but a memory and Amazon gets all its properties. <laughs> nah, it's gonna wind up on Peacock. <laughs> Actually, th th that'd be alright. Maybe Niskeldamus is losing his powers. Maybe he never had powers. Maybe he's just really damn lucky or knows patterns. Recognizing social patterns to make predictions on them? What? Yeah. Never happens. So then we, uh, put that switch and light speed dash all the way over here. I, I, I think they made it work this time. Whoa. Oh. No! Oh, we're actually heading back to, uh, to where that door was, aren't we? We're essentially combing underneath where we just went through in the level! You are mm. so daring! Mm. No idea why you did that. I didn't think it would take me all the way to the... I thought, I thought I had to jump to the other. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But, anyway. but wait, won't this just take you Look, right... the door's open. <laughs> and the door's open. Okay! I didn't see that coming. Yeah. Where the door just works now. Or did we hit a switch? I missed that. I think perhaps a switch we hit may have opened it somewhere. Somewhere along the lines. We did enough of the level to consider the, 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 the switch. Gotcha. We, we hit that flag. Hey, whoa! Uh, I didn't expect going backwards to go forwards and up. That'll work. Okay. Honestly, I kind of like the design. And now I'm just imagining these heroes being the actual size of their animals, and this castle is just huge by comparison. <laughs> it's gonna take forever to get through here. <laughs> See, we've only reached, like, the first level of the castle. <laughs> That's no! Act 1, Floor 1. Oop. I actually thought you, were, you ran into an invisible wall and were going to die. Oh, this must have been a programming nightmare. This would have been so much better if it was just one character. I, I will always say that. Yeah. Uh, now, going about... What, what would you say? Those 50 miles an hour? Give or take? Uh, face planting into a wall? <laughs> well, that's where they get the snoots. Oh. 
no, that makes sense. That way, if it gets pushed in, it just looks like a nose. Yeah. That's why Eggman has to, you know, drive cars and stuff, because he doesn't have the snoot. Ah, miss. Eggman. I mean, you might be a genius, 3000 IQ, but you don't got the snoot. Well, Amy drove a car in Sonic R. Well, yeah, but she had a cute snoot. She had to keep the snoot safe, so... <laughs> I have a, uh, I have a fanboy appealing snoot. Please. Are there such thing as nose picks? Nose picks? Yes. Not like picking nose, but like... <sighs> no, go on! <laughs> I was about to say... You, you had know, a thought somewhere yeah. in there! It's like pictures of people's noses. Is that a thing? Wondering if a nose fetish exists. Yeah. Yes. It does? Yes. Really? Yes. D yes. Yes? Yes. It's just easy to, yes. to say just yes. Yes. Huh. Yes. It, uh, huh? That, uh, oh. Oh. oh, that hurt. The greed. So I fell for that trap. That invisible path hangs to the right. You're supposed to follow the torches and take it slow. How can you take it slow in a Sonic game? No idea why. <laughs> Maybe we'll find that out in Frontiers. Maybe because they're testing me on that. But, you know, that's okay. What's going on? Testing you here, testing your patience. It's all good. <sighs> that's okay. It's fine. It's I will fine. say, though, the the type of Sonic gameplay I don't like is... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, well, that's a good example. Is uh, pushing anything on the control stick makes you veer off course. But, uh, just one thing I remember from Unleashed is dying, respawning, and... Oh, uh, no! no! And the need to go fast just makes you run into an enemy that you just died to. It's really steep here. Be careful. So, uh... Yeah. I made a discovery about, uh... Sonic games. In general? Particularly about this game. Oh, this started something. Sorry, what? This started something. Like a revolution? Uh, a, 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 a trope that's been ever-present in the really bad Sonic games. Ooh! Who was the trendsetter? Sonic Heroes. What quips. was the trend? Too cool. Oh. Mid-level quips. <laughs> this, is, this is the game that I think starts where they have to comment on every little thing. Mm. Do you remember in Sonic Advent Adventure 1, Sonic steps out into... Oh. It's it's the ice level. He steps out into an open field. Yeah. And he turns around. He goes, Whoa! There's an avalanche. <laughs> and he jumps off, grabs his snowboard, and away you go. Yeah. He doesn't say a fucking word. You just go and slide down the mountain where the Eggman's robots are just blasting away at you and the music's rocking away and a sax solo is, is, is carrying you to victory. And you just keep going. You're just, just, just do, doing all that shit. Mm hmm? Sonic didn't say a fucking word. Yeah. Ready time. If it were made today, Sonic would would not shut up. Whoa! There's an avalanche! Hey, look! Check it out! There's a snowboard! Maybe I, we can snowboard the way down! This is gonna be way past cool! Yeah! He turns into Mr. Freeze. Stay cool, everybody! Oh god, I went too high! No! 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 Oh, you are having some issues with these invisible paths. But in this game in particular, because there are three characters per, you know, you know, per, you know, level, I, I suppose, yeah, yeah. Well, whatever. They always have things to say. They always have quips. And that was the worst aspect of Sonic Boom. I, I would say <laughs> the characters just wouldn't stop quipping, and they're not even that funny. It's just comments on what's happening in in. The level. God, I'd, I'd like to think that the uh, Sonic Adventure thing. Oh, the was, fire hurts. Okay. Uh, was just a. I want to say it was a budget budgetary thing. Like they didn't have enough money for the actors to continue to talk. And now that you know they're making big Sega Sonic money, they can afford to have their. Oh wow, that's cool. They can afford to have their characters say the dumbest shit. Especially in Sonic Boom, because that was a gamble in a multimedia game plus show. Leave it to me. Let's go. So that had big money, and it made none of it back. 
It, it, it made some memes, that's about all we got. It's a game that I think people have, like, largely forgotten. Because it's just bad now. I will never forget. It's not interestingly bad like Sonic 06 was. I just remember, there was a, uh... Got it. Uh, there was a streamer I was watching, uh, one time, and he was doing, uh, Sonic ROM hacks. You know, like, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, you ROM hack it. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, you ROM hack it. And, uh... What kind of ROM hacks? Because, you know, there's, like, the Knuckles ROM hack, which isn't really a ROM hack. It's just a bonus feature of the game. Well, the... there was one ROM hack where, instead of playing, uh, Sonic 2 as Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, you play it as Bubsy. With all of Bubsy's oh. mechanics, such as fall damage, oh. in a Sonic game. Oh, no. It fucking sucks. Oh, oh, imagine that. oh. Yeah, imagine I, I, that. Was, I was okay until you said fall damage, and I forgot. Oh yeah, that fucking game had fall damage. Also, one hit kills. Ah! Even with shields. Oh, invincibility did not work with fall damage. You could still die with invincibility. And also, uh, some Man, of the... why couldn't it have been a cool 90s mascot <laughs> character, like... Got it. Uh... Like yeah, that that was good. Like uh, like Sonic. Uh. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, keep digging because uh, this next ROM hack was um, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Boom, where they just took the Sonic One sprite, gave it a scarf, and made him say all of Sonic's stupid ass lines oh, from Sonic Boom. That's my oh, <clears throat> that's exactly the problem. Bounce pad. Oh. Look, it's a bounce pad. Bounce pad. Oh. God, that was funny. I think he got through one level and he was like, yeah, this is too obnoxious. No, <laughs> no, no. Oh, and of course, rings! Can't get enough rings! But you can! And you do! And you will! It's like they're drawn to me! I can't remember, can't believe I remember these lines. Yeah, don't you remember the, you know, my favorite part of Sonic Adventure 2? Where Shadow's like, check it out, there's a ring box there. Whoa, oh, just imagine the casino Mar level in Sonic Adventure 1 where it's like shaking the rings out of him. It's Maria like... would want me to have this <laughs> oh, no! 20 ring box. The rings! <laughs> Take from the rich, give to the poor. All these rings! I think my most favorite recent memory of Sonic was Sonic Generations. Oh. I'm playing Crisis City... Mm. Classic Sonic. And I'm just, like, sitting there in the zone. Just getting through the level, jumping through, doing the fast stuff, figuring out. I'm just, I, I, I'm, I'm concentrating, the music's awesome, and because it's Classic Sonic, it doesn't say a fucking word. <laughs> and we're having a great time. I'm really happy with- Do you want further proof? No, what? Sonic Forces! Uh-huh. Your main character doesn't say a goddamn word. Oh no, but the thing is, there's constant radio chatter giving you, like, story stuff happening. Oh, yeah. But my favorite parts were, after we beat the game, we were doing, like, the post-game stuff and doing all that extra stuff. Yeah. Because nobody said a fucking word! Except us, but, you know, hey. I would just like to say, that part where you go through the, the ring dash, and it goes, like, upside down and everything, that was a cool shot. So that's my hope with Sonic Frontiers. Because it's only Sonic and there's nobody else around. Anything anything could change. That's why I hate talking about recent stuff, because it, <laughs> it might change. But maybe it'll make Sonic kind of shut up a little bit, maybe take in the scenery, you know, kind of oh, just, you know, Quip when the quip is quippy. It'd be, it wouldn't make sense if nobody's there to hear the quip. Actually, I'm trying to think if, uh, if Sonic Colors had that many quips, because again, it was just Sonic. Most of the quips came in the cutscenes. And you know, love him or hate him. Was he was he, he was constantly talking throughout the levels? Uh, no. Got it. And people like Sonic Colors, don't they? Yeah, I like Sonic Colors. Then there's a pattern. <laughs> they don't. They like there's the game. There's a pattern. <laughs> Have Sonic shut the fuck up when you play as him, and everything will be okay. Maybe that's why people like the 2D Sonics more. Just because he doesn't talk. <laughs> I'm not saying you gotta have no voice acting. There's some pretty cool, you know, uh, you know, cutscenes and stuff like that. But just I have him shut up and take in the level. I could just see the the script writers at uh, it's a Sega Corporation and Sonic Team. It's just like, call up Joss Whedon, son. We need no! him to write the script. No! <laughs> Anything but that. Hold on, we need to figure out how to do banter. Call up Joss, son. No, don't call Joss Whedon. Call the Cohen Brothers. <laughs> they can make some interesting Sonic characters. Actually, I would love that. I would absolutely love that. 
Oh, wow, you got it! That's the end of the level! Holy shit! Market 9, Fox! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I recently... You are over the line! I, I recently rewatched uh just the Knuckles clips the from Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and <laughs> just like, ah, oh, my victory chariot! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I think the joke is, is basically, he's Thor and Thor 1. Basically, yeah. That's, that's the joke. He's Starfire from yeah. Teen Titans. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's just like, I, I am having the fun. He actually says a Starfire line. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tamaradians, aren't those the small little white dogs? No, those are Pomeranians. Aren't those the fruits that have the seeds inside? That's a pomegranate. Isn't that the stone that comes from the ground? That's granite. Isn't that the receptionist at the office at the office building? That's Janet. <laughs> Whoa! No, don't worry. He's I'll blasted through that door somehow. Don't worry, I'll give you that one. No, that's granted. <laughs> but it's not exactly straight. That's it's slanted. <laughs> I can get behind Knuckles not understanding a damn thing about Earth and just enjoying my time. It's an impressive what he gets vocabulary, wrong. but it has it all wrong. He speaks like a distinguished Englishman because he is, and he just doesn't understand anything. It's great. Now I'm just imagining Knuckles in a suit, top hat, monocle. Ah, oh, yes, right. I'd like to make a donation of one Chaos Emerald to this, uh,. To this fundraiser that we're having, and how did the uh, hell did you die? So I tried to think maybe I could skip it by. You know, oh, 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 uh -oh. No, I'm in the uh -oh. void. I'm in the void. I'm in the void. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Oh, you're back. Uh, all right, oh, all right. right. Okay. All right. So, um, clearly the gimmick, of course, is going upside down, right? Yeah. So what happens if you do it right side up? So, is, so uh, the question is: Is the upside down portions their own part of the level, or are they just literally I upside see. down on the level? So you want to see? The answer is kind of both. Just depends on the area of the level. Yeah. Uh, sometimes when you hit the switches, it activates and deactivates certain kill planes. So oh, oh, that's how they do we're it. Gonna have, died. So we're gonna have to unfortunately split this episode into two parts. No, well, that's all right. I get to learn something about a game. Not only because ah! not only because we're gonna have to you know there's no way to do this like really quickly, mm -hmm. but also because. I have. It's, it's, what are you talking about? You've done this in seven and a half seconds. Come on. The longest seven and a half <laughs> seconds of your life. Now, I actually love that you were actively looking for uh, walls with no collision. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> hey, look what we did! And then this right here, you could probably find less collision up top or maybe invisible walls. Yeah, I mean, because essentially a lot of the puzzles is going upside down and going all through all this stuff just to just to get through one part of the level. Yeah, so maybe I can skip it with my super powerful cheat device skills. Unless they thought of that and put an entire invisible uh, wall around the well, entire... Well, we not can, exactly. They thought about some things, but they didn't consider others. Th they didn't consider action replay. No, yeah, they didn't. They never or do. Mr. UDJ McCheedy face in 2022 going through Sonic Heroes. Like, like it feels like they went a little, a little more lax in Shadow the Hedgehog. If, if people found those turbo codes. Oh, geez. <sighs> that is still probably one of my favorite memories from Shadow the Hedgehog is you're just like, guess what? 600%! <laughs> Holy God! We're going four times the speed, baby! Oh, it's no. too much! You can't even handle this amount of speed! Well, well, yeah. the, well the only problem is, is that most of the, the action replay codes I found for uh, Sonic Heroes either A, work for a disc I don't have, it's like an E3 disc or whatever, Oh. Uh, B, are mostly just... PS2? Well, no, are, are, are mostly just, uh, you know... Screen corruption and uh, uh, you know, just messing just around with it. Messing around, which are wildly unstable because uh, they were they were hacked by some by by a third party, not code junkies, you know. Yeah. So I, I, can, I can only do so much, but hey, it's fun to explore, right? Absolutely. Because you never know what will work and what won't, and for how long. Oh, and that, that must have felt so good. Just zoom right past it. Yes. Ah, it's very good. See, I let the game take its shot with me with uh, Team Sonic, and then I, uh, break it and laugh in its face. <laughs> well, except this, it's just like you're asking the game, it's like, Alright, 
You punch me and then I get to punch you. Go. Okay. I didn't quite feel that one. Can you do it again, please? More like it uh, gives me a good suck right in the cheek, and I'm like, all right, okay, not bad. And then I uh, strap it down, get some iron knuckles, and get ten dudes, and then we just take turns <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> that's fair, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's when the action replay comes in, mainly for the Sonic stage. It's just like, okay, hit me again. Okay, hit me again. It took me okay, for, hit you, me again. Yeah, it took me forever to enter the ten dudes code for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you need like seven lines of code for every dude. I, I have found a sixteen by nine code. Oh my god, which, make it true HD? Which I, th I think might it, it change this the x spec ratio, but the, but the thing is... There are so many lines of the code. There are like... Probably like 30 lines. Oh no! Oh, 200 oh, lines? Oh no! Well, it's because you're rewriting the entire game, basically. It's, it's like over a hundred lines of code after, after encryption. Holy crap! Yeah, that's rewriting the entire code of the game. I that's think I got like 60 lines in the first time. I'm like, I can't this sucks. see things anymore. <laughs> and the worst part is, and, and I, had, I had other codes to enter too. It's like, I, I can't, I can't do this. I, is I, I've, I've got to be somewhere. I can't do this. Uh, that's one of the most frustrating things about coding. I've taken one coding class and realizing that when something is wrong and your game or something doesn't boot, and it's because you missed one singular letter in a line of code. That is frustrating. Back in, back in high school, I, I worked with uh, RPG Maker 2000. Yeah, I remember I, that. I love working with RPG Maker 2000. I it's, remember it's, that. It's, it's it's just fun. Yeah. And uh, I'll take it from me. I uh, I uh, showed a build to a couple of friends, and uh, one of them was like, "Hey, I played your game. It's pretty good." Uh, all right, I, I printed out some glitches here. You might want to look at. It. I'm like, "Oh, great, thanks." Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the bug testers. Yes, yes, the bug testers. Hey, hey, thanks. He was, he was very quick to find them. Mm -hmm. very, very, very helpful. Thank you. Th thank you, yes. Well, I think I've told the story before, but uh, that one class I took about coding, uh -huh. we were making a text adventure, and my professor was just like, okay, I'm coming around to test out your games. Uh, hopefully you have thought of everything. Because with a text adventure, you have to have all possibilities uh, created. Such as go left, go in the left direction. You have to word it all correctly. Just watch this. And uh, within two seconds he broke my game. What did he do? Did he, did he just go? He said, go around the bed. And it said, I, I can't do it. And then the game crashed. <laughs> so I was like, okay, cool. And he goes, alright, going around. <laughs> That's basically what ended up happening. I even visualized it. I was like, wow! <laughs> you turned the code around! It's like you spiral graphed my code! Now, fun thing, that professor actually uh, taught the student that made Narbacular Drop, which turned into Portal. Oh. Yeah, he was just like, oh yeah, I still have the old demo that he gave me, and then he went on to uh, work at Valve. <laughs> I was like, that's uh, awesome! Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, oh. You have found the point of no return! Fuck! F oh, shit! No! No! The darkness! Oh, no, no! The no! darkness! I found the void! It's the snowman's land where the game doesn't expect me to go over there and there's no, like, you know, universal kill plane that'll kill me right then and there. I see in the distance there's a missing no! You've gone too far! That's the thing, Neskull, in this world, there's no this realm. We are the missing no. I see Rouge infinitely falling, and that's just torture. What would your missing number uh, name be? Hmm. Because if you if you know where to look, there are hundreds and hundreds of missing numbers. Yeah. Well, let's see. Like my my favorite alternate missing no is uh, M. Oh right, just M. Maybe there's like an apostrophe somewhere in there. But it's it's just it's just software gore the Pokemon. <laughs> no, I always I always love it when uh, I call this uh, Jazz Hands Shadow. By the way, yeah, Jazz Hands, it's great. So uh, yeah, I was waiting for that. Uh, fuck! Oh god, god, do all those stupid, stupid enjoy. Stupid, stupid, stupid. All right, we're back. Yeah, it took forever. To open this door. I'm trying to think of the other missing nose. I will, I, I will give one positive about Sonic Heroes. What's that? It seems that whenever I like die or for whatever reason, 
there's another path that I can go, and it's like, oh, that's 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 different. Variety? So yeah, it offers a bit of variety, except in what in what they say, because <laughs> they speak, and it's yeah, because they because they speak. You d you didn't have to say in rhyme or anything like that. It's just because they speak. Ooh, just imagine all the Sonic characters speaking in limerick. Yeah. Or any other rhyming scheme. Yeah. Hmm. Are you looking to make Sonic even worse? What's wrong with you? Well, I mean, uh, according to the fan base, it's already in the toilet, so why not? Just add a little bit of extra bile to it. People expect too much out of Sonic sometimes, I think. They, they expect this perfect game that just does not exist. He's trying his best, damn it! You gotta you, you got know what to expect from Sonic. Because whatever it is, it ain't gonna be perfection. I don't know where those high expectations came from. I don't know either. Cause it, just think about your favorite franchise. Do you want like above and beyond what is actually physically possible for that franchise? Well, why is it why is it impossible for Sonic to be good? I don't know. Cause I thought the it's, cause last it's not couple outings were kind of fun. It's not impossible. No, it's not. It's, it's just this new Sonic hate. I don't know where it came from. He's like, yeah, Sonic was never good. All right, well, what about? Oh God! Fucking God. <laughs> anyway, please don't uh, spill your yeah, drink. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, take some more sips. Out of yeah, this. let's. Mm -hmm. Every time you die, it's a good time for a drink break. Switch detected ahead. Trying to think of maybe there's just you know the expectation. I'm spending sixty dollars. Can I please have the best game possible? It wasn't always sixty dollars. No, it wasn't. It used to be it fifty. It used to be fifty. Well, it used to be seventy. Then it was sixty. And then, then it was, it was uh, fifty. Then it was sixty again. Now it's going to be seventy again. Yeah, I will never forget uh, being rewarded for my good grades back in grade school and getting Pokemon Stadium Two. And my granddad just he actually like t got taken aback when it was eighty five dollars. Jesus. Yeah, it, it was an expensive game, and I felt horrible because I was like, "That's a lot of money." He's like, "No, it's fine." See, I, see, I was lucky, or at least, you know, wilt, like, blissfully ignorant about the price of cartridges. Because when I started, you know, worrying about prices of games and stuff like that, uh, by that point, the GameCube had come out. Yes. And I started paying attention to the prices, like, okay, $50, and it, mm -hmm. that's the way it's always been. It, yeah. It's always been $50. Always 50 And then I uh, see, and I was like, oh, yeah, I remember when games used to be, you know, $70, $80. Like, what? Jesus. They did? Then I find out how fucking much Duck Kong 64 was, and I'm like, oh my god! Oh yeah. Oh my god! That one blew me away. Just because of the expansion pack, that's why it was so expensive. And also because it was a cartridge game. Still, yeah. And I remember asking my parents for that game, because I played it at a friend's house. And I was just like, oh, this, this is like the greatest thing ever! I want to play it! And then they got it and they said, so by the way, uh, that's the only game you're getting this year. <laughs> She's like, no, it's okay. I'll, I'll play it and beat it. It's fine. Like, oh, I'm dead. I'm so sorry. I should have gotten a PlayStation. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm spending on nothing. <laughs> that works out. I'm actually kind of thankful that the only PlayStation I grew up with was the PlayStation 1 with Spyro the Dragon. Because that... I don't, I don't know what my likes and dislikes would have been had I been, like, a PS2 kid. I'm intrigued of the what-if scenarios when it comes to gaming history. For me, anyway. Well, you might as well just, just play them. That's what I do. Why, why bother with the what-if and just play? I will say now, playing catch-up with a lot of- <laughs> Oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> please don't! <laughs> Here, who, uh, ha, he, ha. Playing uh, catch-up with all these games that I've missed out on has been a great experience because hey, I haven't seen anything about them and I haven't been spoiled by anything. So it's just like, wow! This is what you guys have been playing? This is awesome! Thanks for suggesting it. Examples? Um, hmm. Well, basically any game in the past, like, two or three years I've been catching up with. The only games I've played close to or even in the, within the same year has been Resident Evil Village. Every other game just takes a place on the shelf. It's just like, I'll get to you eventually. I've, I've, I've strangely been following uh, new Switch releases lately. It's been kind of a kind of a fun experience, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've taken out Kirby Forgotten Lands, you've taken uh, out Arceus. Taken out Arceus, uh, Kirby Forgotten Lands, I'm doing pretty good Nintendo Switch Sports. Uh, don't know if I'm going to get 
the new Mario soccer game because I tried the demo. I'm like, oh, I don't know about this. Well, I'll get it and we can play it. Maybe I'll give it a try. I don't know. Because Mario Strikers is so much fun, uh, in my personal opinion. But, uh, maybe I uh, was too biased when I played FIFA 2000 as a kid and I want like realistic good <laughs> soccer games. <laughs> Or maybe, maybe I can do like I do in Mario Golf and just turn off all the special shots, because I just want a realistic golf game. Yeah, you just want to golf. See, that's why I like the Mario sports games, because they're not like regular sports. But they are. They are like regular but, but, but sports, they, except they, they have the Mario flair. But but they are. But yeah, they, they aren't. Are, but, but they, they can aren't. be, but they can't be. But, right. they, but they aren't. It's, it's, it's very varied, especially uh, lately, I think. Unfortunately, even with uh, Mario, I just <clears throat> I just can't get into Mario Golf. I'm like a pro at that game. I know you are. <laughs> it drives me insane because I see these amazing trick shots. I was like, there's no way he's gonna get. That. He got it. It's about feeling, dude. <laughs> well, as we know, I'm an unfeeling robot like Omega here, so. I don't know if I can uh, feel golf, my friend. You don't feel anything when you play a game. I don't feel. I just play. Actually, if that was the case, I would actually enjoy all the samey games that have been coming out recently. Crafting, upgrades, open world. It's all the same thing. Still into visual novels, but I've recently fallen out with a certain kind. Uh, How me could you access? Otome Games and I, I don't think we're gonna talk for a little while. That's alright. Because I started playing Otome Games because the tropes of other visual novel games are just ridiculous. Oh. Yeah! So I started playing Otome Games and it turns out the tropes were just as moronic sometimes. They have, they have their own set of tropes and I was starting to recognize them and I got tired of them. Surprisingly, Otome games do not translate well to, uh, <laughs> do not translate translate well to anime either. Well, visual novel games rarely do. Except for Steins Gate. I like that one. Even then, that's, uh... I enjoyed it. Even then, the best version of Steins Gate, in my opinion, is the Jast USA PC release. The what? The Jast USA PC release. Oh, I remember that one. You bought that at a convention, didn't you? Uh, that's how I found out about Steins yeah, Gate. It's, the, it's the best version for one reason and one reason only. When you take out your phone and it has, like, you know, your, your contacts, your messages, your settings, and mm -hmm. internet, you click internet, it actually takes you to the website of the Future Gadget Lab. Hell yeah. No other version does that. None. Probably because that would be hard as fuck to do on console or even well, another because, version of PC. Well, because it opens up a browser, which is easy to do on PC. It, yeah, definitely easy to do. Maybe oh, it does, on, maybe it does on the other where, on the other PC versions. I mean, I would assume it would, but... I mean, missed opportunity if they didn't. I think what's funny is that uh, in the in the game, there, there's a counter on the website, and it's like, oh, we only have like a couple, you know, like a, you know less than 300 hits on our website. Mm -hmm. But you actually go to Every it now. It's, it's it's in the 10 millions by now. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a beautiful moonshot. Oh my uh, god! Uh, thank god I found a kill plane. Oh, did you go off track? I didn't even notice. I, it, it just... It, one slip. It's all it takes. Oh. One slip and you're lost in the nothingness. <laughs> Ain't that just a, like life itself? Just it, one slip and you're in infinite darkness. You know, if Shadow the Hedgehog was actually dark. <laughs> Instead of, like, the kid-friendly version of dark. I don't know how that worked, but I'm just gonna say it worked. And I'm glad okay. it did. Alright, cool. We'll, we'll run with it. Right, skip ahead a little bit. Uh, this, is, this is where I messed up. I didn't go through the statue correctly. <laughs> Doesn't compute illogical! Omega knows you're cheating. <laughs> yeah, shit. Okay, now I see it. So were you not allowed to go off the path? Yeah, I, I think what just happened, I, I, I missed a cue because I was in an awkward position. Oh. oh Whoa! C you know, that can happen. Yeah. That's and a, then going it's, off this. It's like an, an invisible dome up there to the top of us. There, there, yeah, there it goes. Small foothold in the middle of the oh, wait. Oh, wait. There's oh. someone there. Oh. Look out. Oh, hold on, hold on. There's some minor differences between the Dark and Hero stories. I was about to say, yeah. This is one of them. 
Because it's an oh, endless please, way. Oh, 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 Jesus! Thank God for uh, detecting that uh, that ledge there. Yeah. Mission. All, All right. right. Well done. That took that took way too long. Forty-five seconds. What are you talking about? I know it took way too long. Thank God for chaos control. I got over 50,000 points since a C rank. What does this game want from me? Holy to level crap. up and get rings? Eat my shit. Wow. Well, next time on Sonic Heroes, the other half of Hang Castle. More spooky stuff. See you next time!